Okay, hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Matibay students. Welcome again to another Matibay class and our topic for today is a continuation of our topic on module 22 and it's all about simple, simple and, and compound, compound proposition. proposition. Module 23 na tayo. Okay, so we have objective isa lang. Evaluating simple and compound proposition. Okay, let's start. Ayan, did you know? Actually, itong definition na to is na-explain na natin. Ulitin lang natin. Propositions, it is a declarative sentence that is either true or false. Okay, one statement lang siya with one subject, subject and, and one, one predicate. predicate. Pag compound proposition naman, ginagamitan natin siya ng connectors na not, not P. O, ito yung connectors natin. Not, not and, and or, or if. if then. Then, yan. And compound proposition is composed of two or more statements. Okay. Ayan. Ito na, medyo tayo. marami tayo dito ngayon. Meron tayong tinatawag na negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, conditional and, and biconditional. biconditional. Take note na ang connectors po natin sa negation is the word not. Sa conjunction, it is the word and. Sa disjunction, it is the word or. Conditional is if and then. And kay biconditional is if and only if. And take note that our operators or logical operators, ito po yung symbol na yun. Yeah. Kapag not ang ating, ang ating connector, ito rin po ang ating symbol kapag conjunction. Pabaliktad na V. Ito po ang ating symbol kapag disjunction. Letter V. Arrow po papuntang right, right is lang. conditional. Yes. And kapag arrow left and right is by conditional. conditional. Okay, para mas maintindihan, let's move on with our first statement. The negation of a proposition P is denoted by P red as not, not P, P and is defined, defined through, through its, its truth able. Yeah. Yeah, if our P or uh, if our statement is true, kapag ginamitan mo siya ng word na not, it will become false. false. Or if it is false, kapag ginamitan mo siya ng word na uh, parang ano siya, from negative it will become positive, from positive it will become negative. Ganon. So here's an example. O, kunwari, ang P natin is everyone in Visayas speaks Cebuano. Kapag kinuha natin ang negation, negation or ang not P, not everyone in Visayas speaks Cebuano. Oh. So parang yeah. yung P natin is positive, nung naging not P na siya, naging negative na. Yes. Okay. Uh, simple as that. Or isa pang example. Jason is handsome. Oh, pero ang not P niya, Jason is beautiful. Ay. <laughs> Ayaw mo nang not handsome. <laughs> Okay. Next, the conjunction of a preposition P and Q is denoted by P, yung pabaliktad na letter V, Q. And binabasa yung pabaliktad na letter V as P and Q. And, P and, and Q and is defined through this truth table. So, we have two statements. Uh, sa conjunction naman, Ma'am Tintin, okay, kapag may nakita kang parehong true dyan, true na kaagad. Pero pag may nakita ka, maski isang false, 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 false na, na yun kagad. agad. At including kapag dalawang false yan, false na yun kaagad. Yes. So, yun na ang ating ano. Uh, uh, example natin, express the following conjunction. Si yung first, or yung P statement natin is Victor has a date with Lisa. Ang Q statement natin is Janice is sleeping. Ayan, hahanapin daw natin si P and Q and si not P, P and Q. Q. Unahin natin to. Anong sagot mo dyan? P and Q. Kapag P and Q, Victor has a date with Lisa and John is sleeping. Tingnan natin kung tama. Ah, <laughs> Victor tama has a date with Lisa and John is sleeping. Take note, ginamitan natin siya ng end na connector. Ito naman, Victor does not have a date with Lisa and John is sleeping. Uh, doesn't. Any word na pwede mong gawing negative na ilagay dito, okay? Don't have date with Lisa, pwede yes. nyo, ano? Victor doesn't have a date with Lisa and John is sleeping. So, ganun lang kasi play. Because of not nga, hindi. Yes. Hindi ibig sabihin negative si Victor. Oh, oh, negative nga kasi si P, <laughs> kaya not P. Okay? Oo, oh, oh, take note din na tig-tignan ng mabuti. Make sure na magandang pakinggan yung inyong sentences. Sentence. Baka mamaya, oh. dahil mat subject naman to, okay lang kahit rong-rong grammar na. <laughs> no, ah, tignan mo rin kung maganda sa pandinig, pasok. Kapag hindi okay. maganda sa pandinig, lusot. Sisihin si Sir Jason. <laughs> lusot. <laughs> okay, the dis disjunction naman tayo. Disgrasya yan. The disjunction, oy, bari bari. <laughs> the disjunction of proposition P and Q is denoted by letter V and it is read as P or Q and is defined through this 
truth table. Okay ma'am, sa, dis, ta, sa disjunction naman, kabaliktaran. kabaliktaran. Yes. Kapag nakakita ka ng dalawang true, true na true yan kagad. Yes. Or, isang true lang ang nakita mo, true, true na, na yan lahat. Not unless pareha silang false. false. Okay. So, kabaliktaran yun ng ano? Kabaliktaran ng conjunction. conjunction. Examples. Gamitin natin ulit yung kanina. Express Victor the following. Victor has a date with Lisa. And our Q statement, John is sleeping. Ayan. And naman, ay, or naman tayo or. ngayon. Or. So, Victor has a date with Lisa. Or, John is sleeping. sleeping. And next, P not or Q. not Q. Ibig sabihin, oh, negative so dapat si Q mo. Victor has a, da has a date with Lisa. Or, John is not sleeping. Tama Correct. Ba? Yes. You got it right. <laughs> Victor has a date with Lisa or John is not sleeping. Not na ito negation. Si <laughs> Hindi na sa dulog. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Conditional. The preposition P and Q is denoted by yung arrow going to left and it is read as if P then Q and it is, is defined through its truth table. Ayan. Kapag meron kang nakitang true, true na lahat siya. Not unless dalawa ang iyong false. Parang pareho lang Parang siya. Parang pareha siya dun sa disjunction. Yes, ano pareha siya kay nila. Yung ano lang niya, yung then. Yung, yung connectors. Connectors lang. Then. Okay, again, pareho po sila ni disjunction. Ng true stable. Ng true stable. Ang pero, kaibahan lang ay yung connector na if and oh, then. Take note yun ha. Yes. Oh, so, Victor na naman ba yan? Hindi na. Iyan na wa. Si Iyan na <laughs> Nabanug ni Victor. <laughs> Ian, okay. Ang P statement natin, Ian, Ian is, is a grade, grade 11, 11 student. student. And our Q is, he is a senior high school student. Hahanapin daw natin si... Oh, 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 oh. Ayan. If Ian is a grade 11 student, then he is a senior high school student. Wow, confidence. Let's see. Oh. You got it right. <laughs> If Ian, take note of yung connectors naman. natin, parang kinder. No? If Ian is a grade 11 student, then he is a senior high school student. Tama nga naman. Siyempre, ang senior high school natin ay grade 11 and grade 12. Last! Ay! That, by conditional na. By conditional proposition. Even speak, only if naman. Yes, if Pero only. ang kanilang truth table ay pareho kay conjunction yata. Ay, hindi. Iba na. Iba na. True, 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 false, 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 true, false. Parang, oh, parang positive, ano, positive, Parang positive. multiplication and ano yan. Yes. Division of positive, ano. Positive, positive, positive. Positive times negative. Negative. Negative times positive. Negative. Negative times negative. Positive. Yes. Again, it is denoted by arrow if, if and only if na connectors. Let's try. Ayan, si Ian Yan is a grade 11 student. He is, dapat yan, ma'am. Sorry, he is a senior high school student. Ayan, P, if, if P, then Q. Okay, Ian P, is a grade 11, if Ian is a grade 11 student, then, then he, he is, is a senior the, high school student. Hindi. Ian is a grade 11 student, if and only if. Ah, yun pala. He is a Walita senior high school student. Oo, uh, ulit. So, ito yun. Oh, Ian is a grade 11 student, if Kasi, and only if he is a senior high uh, school note, student. Why? Because we are in conditional. Conditional. If and only if. Mm. So, yun. Kanina, hindi ko naintindihan. Naintindihan ko na ngayon. <laughs> Ayan, that's it again. Thank you so much for watching our video discussion for module 22 and 23. See you again next week. Always remember na lahat tayo ay hashtag Matibay! Bye!